In quantum mechanics, perturbation theory is a set of approximation schemes directly related to mathematical perturbation for describing a complicated quantum system in terms of a simpler one. The idea is to start with a simple system for which a mathematical solution is known, and add an additional perturbing Hamiltonian representing a weak disturbance to the system. If the disturbance is not too large, the various physical quantities associated with the perturbed system e.g. its energy levels and eigenstates can be expressed as «corrections» to those of the simple system. These corrections, being small compared to the size of the quantities themselves, can be calculated using approximate methods such as asymptotic series. The complicated system can therefore be studied based on knowledge of the simpler one. In effect, it is describing a complicated unsolved system using a simple, solved system. Approximate Hamiltonians Perturbation theory is an important tool for describing real quantum systems, as it turns out to be very difficult to find exact solutions to the Schrödinger equation for Hamiltonians of even moderate complexity. The Hamiltonians to which we know exact solutions, such as the hydrogen atom, the quantum harmonic oscillator and the particle in a box, are too idealized to adequately describe most systems. Using perturbation theory, we can use the known solutions of these simple Hamiltonians to generate solutions for a range of more complicated system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applying perturbation theory. Perturbation theory is applicable if the problem at hand cannot be solved exactly, but can be formulated by adding a «small» term to the mathematical description of the exactly solvable problem. For example, by adding a perturbative electric potential to the quantum mechanical model of the hydrogen atom, tiny shifts in the spectral lines of hydrogen caused by the presence of an electric field the Stark effect can be calculated. This is only approximate because the sum of a Coulomb potential with a linear potential is unstable has no true bound states although the tunneling time decay rate is very long. This instability shows up as a broadening of the energy spectrum lines, which perturbation theory fails to reproduce entirely. The expressions produced by perturbation theory are not exact, but they can lead to accurate results as long as the expansion parameter, say alpha, is very small. Typically, the results are expressed in terms of finite power series in alpha that seem to converge to the exact values when summed to higher order. After a certain order n approximately 1, alpha however, the results become increasingly worse since the series are usually divergent, being asymptotic series. There exist ways to convert them into convergent series, which can be evaluated for large expansion parameters, most efficiently by the variational method. In the theory of quantum electrodynamics QED, in which the electron-photon interaction is treated perturbatively, the calculation of the electron's magnetic moment has been found to agree with experiment to 11 decimal places. In QED and other quantum field theories, special calculation techniques known as Feynman diagrams are used to systematically sum the power series terms. <laughs> <laughs> Limitations <laughs> Large perturbations Under some circumstances, perturbation theory is an invalid approach to take. This happens when the system we wish to describe cannot be described by a small perturbation imposed on some simple system. 
In quantum chromodynamics, for instance, the interaction of quarks with the gluon field cannot be treated perturbatively at low energies because the coupling constant the expansion parameter becomes too large. Non-adiabatic states Perturbation theory also fails to describe states that are not generated adiabatically from the «free model», including bound states and various collective phenomena such as solitons. Imagine, for example, that we have a system of free e. non-interacting particles, to which an attractive interaction is introduced. Depending on the form of the interaction, this may create an entirely new set of eigenstates corresponding to groups of particles bound to one another. An example of this phenomenon may be found in conventional superconductivity, in which the phonon-mediated attraction between conduction electrons leads to the formation of correlated electron pairs known as Cooper pairs. When faced with such systems, one usually turns to other approximation schemes, such as the variational method and the WKB approximation. This is because there is no analog of a bound particle in the unperturbed model and the energy of a soliton typically goes as the inverse of the expansion parameter. However, if we integrate over the solitonic phenomena, the nonperturbative corrections in this case will be tiny, of the order of exp minus one per gram or exp minus one per gram two in the perturbation parameter g. Perturbation theory can only detect solutions close to the unperturbed solution, even if there are other solutions for which the perturbative expansion is not valid. Topic. Difficult computations The problem of non-perturbative systems has been somewhat alleviated by the advent of modern computers. It has become practical to obtain numerical non-perturbative solutions for certain problems, using methods such as density functional theory. These advances have been of particular benefit to the field of quantum chemistry. Computers have also been used to carry out perturbation theory calculations to extraordinarily high levels of precision, which has proven important in particle physics for generating theoretical results that can be compared with experiment. <laughs> Time-independent perturbation theory Time-independent perturbation theory is one of two categories of perturbation theory, the other being time-dependent perturbation see next section. In time-independent perturbation theory the perturbation Hamiltonian is static i.e., possesses no time dependence. Time-independent perturbation theory was presented by Erwin Schrödinger in a 1926 paper, shortly after he produced his theories in wave mechanics. In this paper Schrödinger referred to earlier work of Lord Rayleigh, who investigated harmonic vibrations of a string perturbed by small inhomogeneities. This is why this perturbation theory is often referred to as Rayleigh-Schrödinger perturbation theory. First-order corrections We begin with an unperturbed Hamiltonian H0, which is also assumed to have no time dependence. It has known energy levels and eigenstates, arising from the time-independent Schrödinger equation H 0 n 0 equals E N zero N zero N equals one two three 
Display style h underscore zero left n caret zero right wrangle equals e underscore n caret zero left n caret zero right wrangle q quad n equals one two three c d o t s. For simplicity, we have assumed that the energies are discrete. The zero superscripts denote that these quantities are associated with the unperturbed system. Note the use of bra ket notation. We now introduce a perturbation to the Hamiltonian. Let V be a Hamiltonian representing a weak physical disturbance, such as a potential energy produced by an external field, thus, V is formally a Hermitian operator. Let λ be a dimensionless parameter that can take on values ranging continuously from zero no perturbation to one the full perturbation. The perturbed Hamiltonian is H equals H zero plus Lambda V displaystyle H equals H underscore zero plus Lambda V. The energy levels and eigenstates of the perturbed Hamiltonian are again given by the Schrödinger equation H Zero plus lambda v n equals e n n display style left h underscore zero plus lambda v right n wrangle equals e underscore n n wrangle. Our goal is to express n n n. Display style n wrangle in terms of the energy levels and eigenstates of the old Hamiltonian. If the perturbation is sufficiently weak, we can write them as a Maclaurin power series in lambda e n equals e n zero plus lambda e n 1 plus lambda 2 e n 2 plus n equals n 0 plus lambda n 1 plus lambda Two N two plus display style begin aligned E underscore N and equals E underscore N carrot zero plus Lambda E underscore N carrot one plus Lambda carrot two E underscore N carrot two plus C D O T S N wrangle and equals left N carrot zero right wrangle plus Lambda left N carrot one right wrangle plus Lambda carrot two Left n caret two right wrangle plus c d o t s n aligned where e n k equals one k d k e n d lambda k lambda equals zero n k equals one k d k n d lambda k lambda equals zero display style begin aligned e underscore n caret k and equals frac one k frac d caret k e underscore n d lambda caret k big underscore lambda equals zero left n caret k right wrangle and equals frac one k frac d caret k n wrangle d lambda Carrot k big underscore lambda equals zero end aligned when k equals zero. These reduce to the unperturbed values, which are the first term in each series. Since the perturbation is weak, the energy levels and eigenstates should not deviate too much from their unperturbed values, and the terms should rapidly become smaller as we go to higher order. Substituting the power series expansion into the Schrödinger equation, we obtain h zero plus lambda v n zero 
plus lambda n 1 plus equals e n 0 plus lambda e n 1 plus n 0 plus lambda n 1 plus Display style left H underscore zero plus Lambda V right left left N carrot zero right wrangle plus Lambda left N carrot one right wrangle plus C D O T S right equals left E underscore N carrot zero plus Lambda E underscore N carrot one plus C D O T S right left left N carrot zero right wrangle plus Lambda left N carrot one one right wrangle plus C D O T S right expanding T S equation and comparing coefficients of each power of lambda results in an infinite series of simultaneous equations. The zeroth order equation is simply the Schrödinger equation for the unperturbed system. The first order equation is H zero N one plus V N zero equals E N zero N one plus E N one N zero Display style H underscore zero left N carrot one right wrangle plus V left N carrot zero right wrangle equals E underscore N carrot zero left N carrot one right wrangle plus E underscore N carrot one left N carrot zero right wrangle operating through by N zero Display style Langle N carrot zero. The first term on the left hand side cancels the first term on the right hand side. Recall, the unperturbed Hamiltonian is Hermitian. This leads to the first order energy shift. E N one equals N zero V N Zero display style e underscore n caret one equals left wrangle n caret zero right v left n caret zero right wrangle. This is simply the expectation value of the perturbation Hamiltonian while the system is in the unperturbed state. This result can be interpreted in the following way: Suppose the perturbation is applied, but we keep the system in the quantum state. N zero display style n caret zero wrangle, which is a valid quantum state though no longer an energy eigenstate. The perturbation causes the average energy of this state to increase by n zero v n zero. Display style Langle N carrot zero V N carrot zero Wrangle. However, the true energy shift is slightly different, because the perturbed eigenstate is not exactly the same as N zero Display style N carrot zero Wrangle. These further shifts are given by the second and higher order corrections to the energy. Before we compute the corrections to the energy eigenstate, we need to address the issue of normalization. We may suppose n 0 n 0 equals 1 display style left wrangle n caret 0 right left n caret 0 right wrangle equals 1 but perturbation theory assumes we also have n 
n equals 1 display style langle n n wrangle equals 1 it follows that at first order in lambda we must have n 0 plus lambda n 1 n 0 plus lambda n 1 equals 1 Display style left left langle n carrot zero right plus lambda left langle n carrot one right right left left n carrot zero right wrangle plus lambda left n carrot one right wrangle right equals one n zero n zero plus lambda n zero N one plus Lambda N one N zero plus Lambda two N one N one equals one Display style left Langle N carrot zero right left N carrot zero right wrangle plus Lambda left Langle N carrot zero right left N carrot one right wrangle plus Lambda left Langle N carrot one right left N carrot zero right wrangle plus cancel Lambda carrot two left Langle N carrot one right left N carrot one right wrangle equals one N zero N one plus N one N zero equals zero Display style left Langle N carrot zero right left N carrot one right wrangle plus left Langle N carrot one right left N carrot zero right wrangle equals zero. Since the overall phase is not determined in quantum mechanics, without loss of generality, we may assume N zero N one Display style Langle N carrot zero N carrot one Wrangle is purely real. Therefore N zero N one equals minus N one N zero Display style left Langle N carrot zero right left N carrot one right wrangle equals left Langle N carrot one right left N carrot zero right wrangle and we deduce N zero N one equals zero Display style left Langle N carrot zero right left N carrot one right wrangle equals zero. To obtain the first order correction to the energy eigenstate, we insert our expression for the first order energy correction back into the result shown above of equating the first order coefficients of lambda. We then make use of the resolution of the identity V N zero equals K does not equal N K zero K zero V N zero plus N zero N zero V N zero equals K does not equal N K zero 
K zero V N zero plus E N one N zero Display style begin aligned V left N carrot zero right wrangle and equals left sum underscore K N E Q N left K carrot zero right wrangle left Langle K carrot zero right right V left N carrot zero right wrangle plus left left N carrot zero right wrangle left Langle N carrot zero right right V left N carrot zero right wrangle and equals sum underscore K N E Q N left K carrot zero right wrangle left Langle K carrot zero right V left Left n carrot zero right wrangle plus e underscore n carrot one left n carrot zero right wrangle end aligned where the k zero display style k carrot zero wrangle are in the orthogonal complement of n zero display style n carrot zero wrangle. The first order equation may thus be expressed as e n zero minus H zero N one equals K does not equal N K zero K zero V N zero Display style left E underscore N carrot zero H underscore zero right left N carrot one right wrangle equals sum underscore K N E Q N left K carrot zero right wrangle left Langle K carrot zero right V left N carrot zero right wrangle for the moment, suppose that the zeroth order energy level is not degenerate, i.e. there is no eigenstate of H0 in the orthogonal complement of n 0 wrangle with the energy E n 0 E underscore n 0 after renaming the summation dummy index above as k display style k we can pick any k does not equal n display style k n e q n and multiply through by k 0 display style langle k caret 0 Giving E N zero minus E K zero K zero N one equals K zero V N zero Display style left E underscore N carrot zero E underscore K carrot zero right left Langle K carrot zero right left N carrot one right wrangle equals left Langle K carrot zero right V left N carrot zero right wrangle. We see that the above K zero N one Display style Langle K carrot zero N carrot one Wrangle also gives us the component of the first order correction along K zero Display style K carrot zero Wrangle. Thus in total we get N one equals K does not equal N K zero V N zero E 
n 0 minus e k 0 k 0 Display style left n caret one right wrangle equals sum underscore k n e q n f r a c left langle k caret zero right v left n caret zero right wrangle e underscore n caret zero e underscore k caret zero left k caret zero right wrangle the first order change in the nth energy eigenket has a contribution from each of the energy eigenstates k does not equal n. Each term is proportional to the matrix element k 0 v n 0 display style langle k caret 0 v n caret 0 wrangle which is a measure of how much the perturbation mixes eigenstate n with eigenstate k, it is also inversely proportional to the energy difference between eigenstates k and n, which means that the perturbation deforms the eigenstate to a greater extent if there are more eigenstates at nearby energies. We see also that the expression is singular if any of these states have the same energy as state n, which is why we assumed that there is no degeneracy. Second order and higher corrections We can find the higher order deviations by a similar procedure, though the calculations become quite tedious with our current formulation. Our normalization prescription gives that 2 n 0 n 2 plus n 1 n 1 equals 0 display style 2 left langle n caret 0 right left n caret 2 right wrangle plus left langle n caret 1 right left n caret 1 right wrangle equals 0 up to second order, the expressions for the energies and normalized eigenstates are E N Lambda equals E N zero plus Lambda N zero V N zero plus Lambda two K does not equal N K zero V N zero two E N zero minus E K zero plus O Lambda three Display style E underscore N lambda equals E underscore N carrot zero plus lambda left Langle N carrot zero right V left N carrot zero right Wrangle plus Lambda carrot two sum underscore K N E Q N F R A C left left Langle K carrot zero right V left N carrot zero right Wrangle right carrot two E underscore N carrot zero Zero E underscore K carrot zero plus O Lambda carrot three N Lambda equals N zero plus Lambda K does not equal N K zero K zero V N zero E N zero minus E K 
zero plus lambda two k does not equal n does not equal n k zero k zero v zero zero v n zero e n zero minus e k zero e n zero minus e zero minus lambda two k does not equal n k zero n zero v n zero k zero v n zero e n zero minus e k zero two minus one two lambda two n zero k does not equal n n zero v k zero k zero v n zero e n zero minus E k zero two plus o lambda three display style begin aligned n lambda wrangle equals left n caret zero right wrangle and plus lambda sum underscore k n e q n left k caret zero right wrangle frac left langle k caret zero right v left n caret zero right wrangle e underscore n caret zero e underscore k caret zero Zero plus lambda carrot two sum underscore k n e q n sum underscore l n e q n left k carrot zero right wrangle frac left langle k carrot zero right v left l carrot zero right wrangle left langle l carrot zero right v left n carrot zero right wrangle left e underscore n carrot zero e underscore k carrot zero Right, left, E underscore, N, carrot, zero, E underscore, L, carrot, zero, right, and Lambda carrot two, sum underscore, K, N E Q N, left, K carrot, zero, right, wrangle, F R A C, left, Langle, N carrot, zero, right, V, left, N carrot, zero, right, wrangle, left, Langle, K carrot, zero, right, V, left, N carrot, zero, right, wrangle, left, E underscore, N carrot, Zero E underscore K carrot zero right carrot two FRAC one two Lambda carrot two left N carrot zero right wrangle sum underscore K N E Q N FRAC left Langle N carrot zero right V left K carrot zero right wrangle left Langle K carrot zero right V left N carrot zero right wrangle left E underscore N carrot zero E underscore K carrot zero right carrot two plus O lambda carrot three end aligned extending the process further the third order energy correction can be shown to be E N three equals K does not equal N M does not equal n n 0 v m 
zero M zero V K zero K zero V N zero E N zero minus E M zero E N zero minus E K zero minus N zero V N zero M does not equal N N zero V M zero two E N zero minus E M zero two Display style e underscore n carrot three equals sum underscore k n e q n sum underscore m n e q n frac langle n carrot zero v m carrot zero wrangle langle m carrot zero v k carrot zero wrangle langle k carrot zero v n carrot zero wrangle left e underscore n carrot zero e underscore m carrot zero right Left E underscore N carrot zero E underscore K carrot zero right Langle N carrot zero V N carrot zero Wrangle sum underscore M N E Q N F R A C Langle N carrot zero V M carrot zero Wrangle carrot two left E underscore N carrot zero E underscore M carrot zero right carrot two Topic: Effects of degeneracy. Suppose that two or more energy eigenstates are degenerate. The first-order energy shift is not well defined, since there is no unique way to choose a basis of eigenstates for the unperturbed system. The various eigenstates for a given energy will perturb with different energies, or may well possess no continuous family of perturbations at all. This is manifested in the calculation of the perturbed eigenstate via the fact that the operator E N zero minus H zero displaystyle E underscore N carrot zero H underscore zero does not have a well defined inverse. Let D denote the subspace spanned by these degenerate eigenstates. No matter how small the perturbation is, in the degenerate subspace D the energy differences between the eigenstates of H are non-zero, so complete mixing of at least some of these states is assured. Typically, the eigenvalues will split, and the eigenspaces will become simple one-dimensional, or at least of smaller dimension than D. The successful perturbations will not be small relative to a poorly chosen basis of D. Instead, we consider the perturbation small if the new eigenstate is close to the subspace D. The new Hamiltonian must be diagonalized in D, or a slight variation of D, so to speak. These perturbed eigenstates in D are now the basis for the perturbation expansion. N equals k element of d alpha n k k 0 plus lambda n 1 Display style n wrangle equals sum underscore k in d alpha underscore n k k caret zero wrangle plus lambda n caret one wrangle. 
For the first order perturbation, we need solve the perturbed Hamiltonian restricted to the degenerate subspace D V K zero equals E K K zero plus small K zero element of D Display style V, K carrot zero, wrangle equals Epsilon underscore K, K carrot zero, wrangle plus text small Q quad for all K carrot zero, wrangle in D. Simultaneously for all the degenerate eigenstates, where E K Display style Epsilon underscore K are first order corrections to the degenerate energy levels and small is a vector of o lambda display style o lambda orthogonal to d this amounts to diagonalizing the matrix k 0 v l 0 equals V K L K zero L zero element of D Display style Langle K carrot zero V L carrot zero Wrangle equals V underscore K L Q quad for all K carrot zero Wrangle L carrot zero Wrangle in D this procedure is approximate, since we neglected states outside the D subspace. Small. The splitting of degenerate energies. E k. Display style epsilon underscore k. Is generally observed, although the splitting may be small. O. Lambda. Display style O lambda. Compared to the range of energies found in the system, it is crucial in understanding certain details, such as spectral lines in electron spin resonance experiments. Higher order corrections due to other eigenstates outside D can be found in the same way as for the non-degenerate case E n 0 minus h 0 n 1 equals k d k 0 v n 0 k 0 Display style left E underscore N carrot zero H underscore zero right N carrot one Wrangle equals sum underscore K not in D left Langle K carrot zero V N carrot zero Wrangle right K carrot zero Wrangle the operator on the left-hand side is not singular when applied to eigenstates outside D, so we can write N one equals K D K zero V N zero E N zero minus E K zero K zero Display style n caret one wrangle equals sum underscore k not in d frac langle k caret zero v n caret zero wrangle e underscore n caret zero e underscore k caret zero k caret zero wrangle. But the effect on the degenerate states is of o lambda display style o lambda. Near degenerate states should also be treated similarly, when the original Hamiltonian splits aren't larger than the perturbation in the near degenerate subspace. 
An application is found in the nearly free electron model, where near degeneracy, treated properly, gives rise to an energy gap even for small perturbations. Other eigenstates will only shift the absolute energy of all near degenerate states simultaneously. Generalization to multi-parameter case The generalization of the time-independent perturbation theory to the case where there are multiple small parameters x mu equals x 1 x 2 Display style x caret mu equals x caret one x caret two c d o t s. In place of lambda, can be formulated more systematically using the language of differential geometry, which basically defines the derivatives of the quantum states and calculates the perturbative corrections by taking derivatives iteratively at the unperturbed point. Topic: Hamiltonian and force operator. From the differential geometric point of view, a parameterized Hamiltonian is considered as a function defined on the parameter manifold that maps each particular set of parameters x one, x two. Display style x caret one x caret two c d o t s to an Hermitian operator h x mu that acts on the Hilbert space. The parameters here can be external field, interaction strength, or driving parameters in the quantum phase transition. Let n x mu and n x mu Display style n x caret mu wrangle be the n t h eigenenergy and eigenstate of h x mu respectively. In the language of differential geometry, the states n x mu display style n x caret mu wrangle form a vector bundle over the parameter manifold, on which derivatives of these states can be defined. The perturbation theory is to answer the following question, given E n x 0 mu displaystyle E underscore n x underscore 0 caret mu n n x 0 mu display style n x underscore 0 caret mu wrangle at an unperturbed reference point x 0 mu display style x underscore 0 caret mu how to estimate the n x mu and n x mu display style n x caret mu wrangle at x mu close to that reference point without loss of generality the coordinate system can be shifted such that the reference point x 0 mu equals 0 Display style x underscore zero caret mu equals zero is set to be the origin. The following linearly parameterized Hamiltonian is frequently used. H x mu equals h zero plus x mu f mu display style h x caret mu equals h 0 plus x caret mu f underscore mu if the parameters x mu are considered as generalized coordinates then f mu should be identified as the generalized force operators related to those coordinates 
Different indices μ label the different forces along different directions in the parameter manifold. For example, if x μ denotes the external magnetic field in the μ direction, then f μ should be the magnetization in the same direction. Topic: <laughs> Perturbation theory as power series expansion. The validity of the perturbation theory lies on the adiabatic assumption, which assumes the eigenenergies and eigenstates of the Hamiltonian are smooth functions of parameters such that their values in the vicinity region can be calculated in power series like Taylor expansion of the parameters E n x mu equals E n plus x mu mu e n plus 1 2 x mu x nu mu nu e n plus N x mu equals N plus x mu, mu N plus one two, x mu x nu, mu nu N plus display style begin aligned E underscore N x carrot mu and equals E underscore N plus x carrot mu partial underscore mu E underscore N plus FRAC one two x carrot mu x carrot nu partial underscore mu partial underscore nu E underscore N plus C D O T S left N x carrot mu right wrangle and equals N wrangle plus x carrot mu partial underscore mu N wrangle plus F R A C one two x carrot mu x carrot new partial underscore mu partial underscore new N wrangle plus C D O T S end aligned here mu denotes the derivative with respect to x mu when applying to the state mu n display style partial underscore mu n wrangle it should be understood as the covariant derivative if the vector bundle is equipped with non vanishing connection all the terms on the right hand side of the series are evaluated at x mu equals 0 e g n n 0 and n N zero display style n wrangle equiv n zero wrangle. This convention will be adopted throughout this subsection that all functions without the parameter dependence explicitly stated are assumed to be evaluated at the origin. The power series may converge slowly or even not converge when the energy levels are close to each other. The adiabatic assumption breaks down when there is energy level degeneracy, and hence the perturbation theory is not applicable in that case. Hellman Feynman theorems The above power series expansion can be readily evaluated if there is a systematic approach to calculate the derivates to any order. Using the chain rule, the derivatives can be broken down to the single derivative on either the energy or the state. The Hellman Feynman theorems are used to calculate these single derivatives. The first Hellman Feynman theorem gives the derivative of the energy μ e n equals n μ h n Display style partial underscore mu e underscore n equals Langle n partial underscore mu h n wrangle. The second Hellman Feynman theorem gives the derivative of the state resolved by the complete basis with m does not equal n m mu n equals m mu h n e 
n minus e m mu m n equals m mu h n e m minus e n Display style Langle M partial underscore mu N wrangle equals FRAC Langle M partial underscore mu H N wrangle E underscore N E underscore M Q quad Langle partial underscore mu M N wrangle equals FRAC Langle M partial underscore mu H N wrangle E underscore M E underscore N for the linearly parameterized Hamiltonian, mu h simply stands for the generalized force operator f mu. The theorems can be simply derived by applying the differential operator mu to both sides of the Schrödinger equation. H n equals e n n. Display style h n wrangle equals e underscore n n wrangle, which reads mu h n plus h mu n equals mu e n n plus e n mu n display style partial underscore mu h n wrangle plus h partial underscore mu n wrangle equals partial underscore mu e underscore n n wrangle plus e underscore n partial underscore mu n wrangle then overlap with the state m Display style Langle M from left and make use of the Schrödinger equation M H equals M E M display style Langle M H equals Langle M E underscore M again M mu H N plus e m m mu n equals mu e n m n plus e n m mu n Display style Langle M partial underscore mu H N wrangle plus E underscore M Langle M partial underscore mu N wrangle equals partial underscore mu E underscore N Langle M N wrangle plus E underscore N Langle M partial underscore mu N wrangle Given that the eigenstates of the Hamiltonian always form an orthonormal basis M N equals delta M N display style Langle M N wrangle equals delta underscore Minnesota. The cases of M equals N and M does not equal N can be discussed separately. The first case will lead to the first theorem and the second case to the second theorem, which can be shown immediately by rearranging the terms. With the differential rules given by the hellman feynman theorems, the perturbative correction to the energies and states can be calculated systematically. Correction of energy and state equals to the second order the energy correction reads e n x mu equals n h 
n plus n mu h n x mu plus m does not equal n n nu h m m mu h n e n minus e m x mu x nu plus Display style e underscore n x caret mu equals langle n h n wrangle plus langle n partial underscore mu h n wrangle x caret mu plus re sum underscore m n e q n frac langle n partial underscore nu h m wrangle langle m partial underscore mu h n wrangle e underscore n e underscore m x caret mu x Carrot new plus C D O T S where display style re denotes the real part function. The first order derivative mu n is given by the first Hellman Feynman theorem directly. To obtain the second order derivative mu nu n, simply applying the differential operator mu to the result of the first order derivative n new h n display style langle n partial underscore new h n wrangle which reads mu new e n equals mu n new h n plus n mu nu h n plus n nu h mu n Display style partial underscore mu partial underscore new e underscore n equals langle partial underscore mu n partial underscore new h n wrangle plus langle n partial underscore mu partial underscore new h n wrangle plus langle n partial underscore new h partial underscore mu n wrangle Note that for linearly parameterized Hamiltonian, there is no second derivative mu nu h equals zero on the operator level. Resolve the derivative of state by inserting the complete set of basis mu nu e n equals m mu n m m New H N plus N new H M M mu N Display style partial underscore mu partial underscore new e underscore n equals sum underscore m left langle partial underscore mu n m wrangle langle m partial underscore new h n wrangle plus langle n partial underscore new h m wrangle langle m partial underscore mu n wrangle right then all parts can be calculated using the Hellman Feynman theorems. In terms of Lie derivatives, mu n n equals n mu n equals zero. Display style Langle partial underscore mu n n wrangle equals Langle n partial underscore mu n wrangle equals zero. According to the definition of the connection for the vector bundle, 
Therefore, the case M equals N can be excluded from the summation, which avoids the singularity of the energy denominator. The same procedure can be carried on for higher order derivatives, from which higher order corrections are obtained. The same computational scheme is applicable for the correction of states. The result to the second order is as follows N X mu equals n plus m does not equal n m mu h n e n minus e m m x mu plus m does not equal n l does not equal n m mu h l l nu h n e n minus e m e n minus e l m minus m does not equal n m mu h n n nu h n e n minus e m 2 m minus 1 2 m does not equal n n mu h m m nu h n e n minus e m 2 m x mu x nu plus display style begin aligned left n left x caret mu right right wrangle equals n wrangle and plus sum underscore m n e q n frac langle m partial underscore mu h n wrangle e underscore n e underscore m m wrangle x caret mu and plus left sum underscore m n e q n sum underscore l n e q n frac langle m partial underscore mu h l wrangle langle l partial underscore nu h n wrangle e underscore n e underscore m e underscore n e underscore l m wrangle sum underscore m n e q n frac langle m partial underscore mu h n wrangle langle n partial underscore nu h n wrangle e underscore n e underscore M carrot two M wrangle FRAC one two sum underscore M N E Q N FRAC Langle N partial underscore mu H M wrangle Langle M partial underscore new H N wrangle E underscore N E underscore M carrot two M wrangle right X carrot mu X carrot new plus C D O T S end aligned both energy derivatives and state derivatives derivatives will be involved in deduction. Whenever a state derivative is encountered, resolve it by inserting the complete set of basis, then the hellman feynman theorem is applicable. Because differentiation can be calculated systematically, the series expansion approach to the perturbative corrections can be coded on computers with symbolic processing software like Mathematica. Topic. Effective Hamiltonian Let H be the Hamiltonian completely restricted either in the low energy subspace H L 
display style math call h underscore l or in the high energy subspace h h display style math call h underscore h such that there is no matrix element in h 0 connecting the low and the high energy subspaces i e m h 0 l equals 0 display style langle m h 0 l wrangle equals 0 if m element of h l l element of h h display style m in math call h underscore l l in math call h underscore h let f mu equals mu h be the coupling terms connecting the subspaces then when the high energy degrees of freedoms are integrated out the effective hamiltonian in the low energy subspace reads h m n f x mu equals m h n plus delta n m m mu h n x mu plus 1 2 l element of h h m mu h l l new h n e m minus e l plus m new h l l mu h n e n minus e l x mu x nu plus Display style H underscore Minnesota carrot text F left x carrot mu right equals Langle M H N Wrangle plus delta underscore N M Langle M partial underscore mu H N Wrangle x carrot mu plus F R A C one two sum underscore L in math call H underscore H left F R A C Langle M partial underscore mu H L Wrangle Langle L partial underscore new H N Wrangle E underscore M E underscore L plus F R A C Langle M partial underscore new H L Wrangle Langle L partial underscore mu H N Wrangle E underscore N E underscore L right X carrot mu X carrot new plus C D O T S here M N element of h l display style m n in math call h underscore l are restricted in the low energy subspace the above result can be derived by power series expansion of m h x mu n Display style Langle M H X carrot mu N wrangle. In a formal way, it is possible to define an effective Hamiltonian that gives exactly the low-lying energy states and wave functions. In practice, some kind of approximation perturbation theory is generally required. Topic. Time-dependent perturbation theory Topic: <inaudible> Method of variation of constants 
time-dependent perturbation theory, developed by Paul Dirac, studies the effect of a time-dependent perturbation V t applied to a time-independent Hamiltonian H0. Since the perturbed Hamiltonian is time-dependent, so are its energy levels and eigenstates. Thus, the goals of time-dependent perturbation theory are slightly different from time-independent perturbation theory. One is interested in the following quantities. The time-dependent expectation value of some observable A, for a given initial state. The time-dependent amplitudes of those quantum states that are energy eigenkits eigenvectors in the unperturbed system. The first quantity is important because it gives rise to the classical result of an A measurement performed on a macroscopic number of copies of the perturbed system. For example, we could take A to be the displacement in the x direction of the electron in a hydrogen atom, in which case the expected value, when multiplied by an appropriate coefficient, gives the time-dependent dielectric polarization of a hydrogen gas. With an appropriate choice of perturbation, i.e., an oscillating electric potential, this allows one to calculate the AC permittivity of the gas. The second quantity looks at the time-dependent probability of occupation for each eigenstate. This is particularly useful in laser physics, where one is interested in the populations of different atomic states in a gas when a time-dependent electric field is applied. These probabilities are also useful for calculating the quantum broadening of spectral lines see line broadening and particle decay in particle physics and nuclear physics we will briefly examine the method behind dirac's formulation of time dependent perturbation theory choose an energy basis n display style n wrangle for the unperturbed system, we drop the zero superscripts for the eigenstates, because it is not useful to speak of energy levels and eigenstates for the perturbed system. If the unperturbed system is in eigenstate of the Hamiltonian J display style J wrangle at time t equals zero, its state at subsequent times varies only by a phase in the Schrödinger picture, where state vectors evolve in time and operators are constant. J t equals e minus i e j t j Display style J T wrangle equals E carrot I E underscore J T H B A R J wrangle tilde. Now introduce a time dependent perturbing Hamiltonian V T. The Hamiltonian of the perturbed system is H equals H zero plus V T display style h equals h underscore 0 plus v t tilde let psi t display style psi t wrangle denote the quantum state of the perturbed system at time t it obeys the time dependent schrodinger equation h psi t equals I T psi T displaystyle H psi T wrangle equals I H B A R F R A C partial partial T psi T wrangle tilde. The quantum state at each instant can be expressed as a linear combination of the complete eigenbasis of N displaystyle N wrangle where the cn t s are to be determined complex functions of t which we will refer to as amplitudes strictly speaking, they are the amplitudes in the Dirac picture. We have explicitly extracted the exponential phase factors exp minus i 
e n t display style exp i e underscore n t h b a r on the right hand side. This is only a matter of convention and may be done without loss of generality. The reason we go to this trouble is that when the system starts in the state j display style j wrangle and no perturbation is present the amplitudes have the convenient property that for all t cjt topic 1 and cn t 0 if n does not equal j the square of the absolute amplitude cn t is the probability that the system is in state n at time t since c n t 2 equals n psi t 2 Display style left c underscore n t right caret two equals left langle n psi t wrangle right caret two tilde. Plugging into the Schrödinger equation and using the fact that t acts by a product rule, one obtains n i c n t minus c n t v t e minus i e n t n equals 0 Display style sum underscore n left i h b a r f r a c partial c underscore n partial t c underscore n t v t right e caret i e underscore n t h b a r n wrangle equals zero tilde. By resolving the identity in front of v and multiplying through by the bra n. Display style langle n. On the left, this can be reduced to a set of coupled differential equations for the amplitudes C N T equals minus I K N V T K C K T E minus I E K minus E N T Display style FRAC partial C underscore N partial T equals FRAC I HBAR sum underscore K Langle N V T K Wrangle C underscore K T E carrot I E underscore K E underscore N T HBAR tilde where we have used equation 1 to evaluate the sum on n in the second term then used the fact that k psi t equals c k t e minus i e k t Display style Langle K, psi T, Wrangle equals C underscore K, T, E carrot, I E underscore K, T, H B A R. The matrix elements of V play a similar role as in time independent perturbation theory, being proportional to the rate at which amplitudes are shifted between states. Note, however, that the direction of the shift is modified by the exponential phase factor. Over times much longer than the energy difference ek n, the phase winds around zero several times. 
If the time dependence of V is sufficiently slow, this may cause the state amplitudes to oscillate, e.g., such oscillations are useful for managing radiative transitions in a laser. Up to this point, we have made no approximations, so this set of differential equations is exact. By supplying appropriate initial values Cn t, we could in principle find an exact i.e., non-perturbative solution. This is easily done when there are only two energy levels n equals 1, 2, and this solution is useful for modeling systems like the ammonia molecule. However, exact solutions are difficult to find when there are many energy levels, and one instead looks for perturbative solutions. These may be obtained by expressing the equations in an integral form C n T equals C N zero plus minus I K zero T D T N V T K C K T E minus I E K minus E N T Display style C underscore N T equals C underscore N zero plus FRAC I H B A R sum underscore K int underscore zero carrot T D T Langle N V T K Wrangle C underscore K T E carrot I E underscore K E underscore N T H B A R tilde Repeatedly substituting this expression for Cn back into right hand side yields an iterative solution C N T equals C N zero plus C N one plus C N two plus display style C underscore N T equals C underscore N carrot zero plus C underscore N carrot one plus C underscore N carrot two plus C D O T S where, for example, the first order term is C N one T equals minus i k 0 t d t n v t k c k 0 e minus i e K minus E N T Display style C underscore N carrot one T equals FRAC I H B A R sum underscore K int underscore zero carrot T D T Langle N V T K Wrangle C underscore K zero E carrot I E underscore K E underscore N T H B A R tilde Several further results follow from this, such as Fermi's golden rule, which relates the rate of transitions between quantum states to the density of states at particular energies, or the Dyson series, obtained by applying the iterative method to the time evolution operator, which is one of the starting points for the method of Feynman diagrams. Method of Dyson series Time-dependent perturbations can be reorganized through the technique of the Dyson series. 
the Schrödinger equation H T psi T equals I psi T T Display style H T psi T wrangle equals I H B A R F R A C partial psi T wrangle partial T has the formal solution psi T equals T exp minus I T zero T D T H T psi T zero D Ice play style, psi T, wrangle equals T, EXP, left, FRAC, I, HBAR, int underscore T underscore zero, carrot T, DT, T, right, psi T underscore zero, wrangle tilde, where T is the time ordering operator, T A, T one, A, T two equals A, T one, A, T two, T one greater than T two A, T two, A, T one, T T two greater than T one. Display style ta T underscore one A T underscore two equals begin cases A T underscore one A T underscore two and T underscore one greater than T underscore two A T underscore two A T underscore one and T underscore two greater than T underscore one end cases tilde Thus, the exponential represents the following Dyson series: psi t equals one minus i t zero t d t one h t one Minus one two T zero T D T one T zero T one D T two H T one H T two plus psi T zero Display style psi t wrangle equals left one frac i h b a r int underscore t underscore zero carrot t d t underscore one h t underscore one frac one h b a r carrot two int underscore t underscore zero carrot t d t underscore one int underscore t underscore zero carrot t underscore one d t underscore Two H T underscore one H T underscore two plus L dots right psi T underscore zero wrangle tilde. Note that in the second term, the one half factor exactly cancels the double contribution due to the time ordering operator, etc. Consider the following perturbation problem H zero plus Lambda V T Psi T equals I Psi T T Display style H underscore zero plus Lambda V T Psi T wrangle equals I H B A R F R A C partial Psi T wrangle partial T tilde Assuming that the parameter lambda is small and that the problem H zero N equals E N N 
Display style H underscore zero N wrangle equals E underscore N N wrangle has been solved. Perform the following unitary transformation to the interaction picture or Dirac picture. Psi T equals E minus I H zero T minus T zero Psi I T Display style psi t wrangle equals e caret frac i h b a r h underscore zero t t underscore zero psi underscore i t wrangle tilde. Consequently, the Schrödinger equation simplifies to lambda e i h zero t Minus T zero V T E minus I H zero T minus T zero Psi I T equals I Psi I T T Display style Lambda E carrot FRAC I H B A R H underscore zero T T underscore zero V T E carrot FRAC I H B A R H underscore zero T T underscore zero Psi underscore I T Wrangle equals I H Bar FRAC partial psi underscore I T wrangle partial T tilde. So it is solved through the above Dyson series. Psi I T equals one minus I Lambda T zero T D T one E I H zero T one minus T zero V T one E minus I H Zero T one minus T zero minus Lambda two two T zero T D T one T zero T one D T two E I H zero T one minus T zero V T one E minus I H zero T one minus T zero E I H zero T two minus T zero V T two E minus I H zero T two minus T 
zero plus psi t zero Display style psi underscore i t wrangle equals left one frac i lambda h b a r int underscore t underscore zero caret t d t underscore one e caret frac i h b a r h underscore zero t underscore one t underscore zero v t underscore one e caret frac i h b a r h underscore zero t underscore one T underscore zero FRAC Lambda carrot two HBAR carrot two int underscore T underscore zero carrot T DT underscore one int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one DT underscore two E carrot FRAC I HBAR H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore zero V T underscore one E carrot FRAC I H B A R H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore zero E carrot FRAC I H B A R H underscore zero T underscore two T underscore zero V T underscore two E carrot FRAC I H B A R H underscore zero T underscore two T underscore zero plus L dots right psi T underscore zero Zero wrangle tilde as a perturbation series with small lambda. Using the solution of the unperturbed problem H zero N equals E N N displaystyle H underscore zero N wrangle equals E underscore N N wrangle and n n n equals 1 display style sum underscore n n wrangle langle n equals 1 for the sake of simplicity assume a pure discrete spectrum yields to first order psi i t equals 1 Minus I Lambda M N T zero T D T one M V T one N E minus I E N minus E M T one minus T zero M N plus Psi T zero Display style psi underscore i t wrangle equals left one frac i lambda h b a r sum underscore m sum underscore n int underscore t underscore zero caret t d t underscore one langle m v t underscore one n wrangle e caret frac i h b a r e underscore n e underscore m t underscore one t underscore zero M wrangle langle N plus L dots right psi T underscore zero wrangle tilde. Thus, the system, initially in the unperturbed state alpha equals psi T zero display style alpha wrangle equals psi T underscore zero wrangle by dint of the perturbation can go into the state beta display style beta wrangle the corresponding transition probability amplitude to first order as a alpha beta equals minus i lambda t 
zero T D T one beta V T one alpha E minus I E alpha minus E beta T one minus T zero Display style a underscore alpha beta equals frac i lambda h b a r int underscore t underscore zero caret t d t underscore one langle beta v t underscore one alpha wrangle e caret frac i h b a r e underscore alpha e underscore beta t underscore one t underscore zero tilde as detailed in the previous section. While the corresponding transition probability to a continuum is furnished by Fermi's golden rule. As an aside, note that time-independent perturbation theory is also organized inside this time-dependent perturbation theory Dyson series. To see this, write the unitary evolution operator, obtained from the above Dyson series, as U T equals one minus I Lambda T zero T D T one E I H zero T one minus T zero V T one E minus I H zero T one minus T zero minus Lambda two two T zero T D T one T zero T one D T two E I H zero T one minus T zero V T one E minus I H zero T one minus T zero E I H zero T two minus T zero V T two E minus I H zero T two minus T zero plus Display style U T equals one F R A C I Lambda H B A R int underscore T underscore zero carrot T D T underscore one E carrot F R A C I H B A R H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore zero V T underscore one E carrot F R A C I H B A R H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore 
zero FRAC Lambda carrot two HBAR carrot two int underscore T underscore zero carrot T DT underscore one int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one DT underscore two E carrot FRAC I HBAR H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore zero V T underscore one E carrot FRAC I HBAR H underscore zero T underscore one T underscore zero E carrot FRAC I HBAR H underscore zero T underscore two T underscore zero V T underscore two E carrot FRAC I HBAR H underscore zero T underscore two T underscore zero plus C D O T S and take the perturbation V to be time independent. Using the identity resolution N N N equals one Display style sum underscore N N wrangle Langle N equals one with H zero N equals E N N display style H underscore zero N wrangle equals E underscore N N wrangle for a pure discrete spectrum, right? U T equals one minus I Lambda T zero T D T one M N M V N E minus I E N minus E M T one minus T zero M N minus Lambda two two T zero T D T one T zero T one D T two M N Q E minus I E N minus E M T one minus T zero M V N N V Q E minus I E Q minus E N T two minus T zero M Q plus display style begin aligned U T equals one and left F R A C I Lambda H B A R int underscore T underscore zero carrot T D T underscore one sum underscore M sum underscore N Langle M V N Wrangle E carrot F R A C I H B A R E underscore N E underscore M T underscore one T underscore zero M 
wrangle langle n right and left frac lambda caret two h b a r caret two int underscore t underscore zero caret t d t underscore one int underscore t underscore zero caret t underscore one d t underscore two sum underscore m sum underscore n sum underscore q e caret frac i h b a r e underscore n e underscore m t underscore one t underscore zero langle m v n wrangle langle n v q wrangle e caret frac i h b a r e underscore q e underscore n t underscore two t underscore zero m wrangle langle q right plus c d o t s end aligned it is evident that at second order one must sum on all the intermediate states assume t0 equals 0 display style t underscore 0 equals 0 and the asymptotic limit of larger times this means that, at each contribution of the perturbation series, one has to add a multiplicative factor e minus e t display style e caret epsilon t in the integrands for epsilon arbitrarily small. Thus, the limit t infinity gives back the final state of the system by eliminating all oscillating terms, but keeping the secular ones. The integrals are thus computable, and, separating the diagonal terms from the others yields u t equals 1 minus i lambda n n v n t minus i lambda 2 m does not equal n n v m m v n e n minus e m t minus 1 2 lambda 2 2 m n n v m m v n t 2 plus plus lambda m does not equal n m v n e n minus e m m n plus lambda 2 m does not equal n q does not equal n n m v n n v q e n minus e m E Q minus E N M Q plus display style begin aligned U T equals one and F R A C I Lambda H B A R sum underscore N Langle N V N Wrangle T F R A C I Lambda carrot two H B A R sum underscore M N E Q N F R A C Langle N V M Wrangle Langle M V N Wrangle E underscore N E underscore M T F R A C one two F R A C Lambda carrot two H B A R carrot two sum underscore M N Langle N V M Wrangle Langle M V N Wrangle T carrot two plus L dots and plus Lambda sum underscore M N E Q N F R A C Langle M V N Wrangle E underscore N E underscore M M Wrangle Langle N plus 
lambda caret two sum underscore m n e q n sum underscore q n e q n sum underscore n f r a c langle m v n wrangle langle n v q wrangle e underscore n e underscore m e underscore q e underscore n m wrangle langle q plus l dots end aligned where the time secular series yields the eigenvalues of the perturbed problem specified above recursively whereas the remaining time constant part yields the corrections to the stationary eigenfunctions also given above n lambda equals u 0 lambda n display style n lambda wrangle equals u 0 lambda n wrangle the unitary evolution operator is applicable to arbitrary eigenstates of the unperturbed problem and in this case yields a secular series that holds at small times topic <laughs> strong perturbation theory In a similar way as for small perturbations, it is possible to develop a strong perturbation theory. Let us consider as usual the Schrödinger equation H T psi T equals I psi T T Display style h t psi t wrangle equals i h b a r f r a c partial psi t wrangle partial t, and we consider the question if a dual Dyson series exists that applies in the limit of a perturbation increasingly large. This question can be answered in an affirmative way, and the series is the well-known adiabatic series. This approach is quite general and can be shown in the following way. Let us consider the perturbation problem H zero plus lambda v t psi t equals i psi t t Display style h underscore zero plus lambda v t psi t wrangle equals i h b a r f r a c partial psi t wrangle partial t being lambda infinity. Our aim is to find a solution in the form psi equals psi zero plus one lambda psi 1 plus 1 lambda 2 psi 2 plus Display style psi wrangle equals psi underscore zero wrangle plus frac one lambda psi underscore one wrangle plus frac one lambda caret two psi underscore two wrangle plus l dots. But a direct substitution into the above equation fails to produce useful results. This situation can be adjusted making a rescaling of the time variable as tau equals lambda t display style tau equals lambda t producing the following meaningful equations v t psi 0 equals i psi 0 tau Display style v t psi underscore zero wrangle equals i h b a r f r a c partial psi underscore zero wrangle partial tau v t psi one plus h zero psi zero equals i Psi one tau 
Display style V T Psi underscore one Wrangle plus H underscore zero Psi underscore zero Wrangle equals I H B A R F R A C partial Psi underscore one Wrangle partial Tau Display style V D O T S that can be solved once we know the solution of the leading order equation. But we know that in this case we can use the adiabatic approximation. When V T style V T does not depend on time one gets the Wigner Kirkwood series that is often used in statistical mechanics. Indeed, in this case we introduce the unitary transformation psi t equals e minus i lambda v t minus t 0 psi f t Display style psi t wrangle equals e caret frac i h b a r lambda v t t underscore zero psi underscore f t wrangle. That defines a free picture as we are trying to eliminate the interaction term. Now, in dual way with respect to the small perturbations, we have to solve the Schrödinger equation. E i Lambda V T minus T zero H zero E minus I Lambda V T minus T zero Psi F T equals I Psi F T T Display style E carrot F R A C I H B A R Lambda V T T underscore zero H underscore zero E carrot F R A C I H B A R Lambda V T T underscore zero Psi underscore F T Wrangle equals I H B A R F R A C partial Psi underscore F T Wrangle partial T And we see that the EXPA N scion parameter lambda appears only into the exponential, and so the corresponding Dyson series, a dual Dyson series, is meaningful at large lambda s and as psi f t equals one minus i t zero t d T one E I Lambda V T one minus T zero H zero E minus I Lambda V T one minus T zero minus one two T zero T D T one T zero T one D T two E I Lambda V T one minus T zero H zero E minus I Lambda V 
T one minus T zero E I Lambda V T two minus T zero H zero E minus I Lambda V T two minus T zero plus Psi T zero Display style psi underscore f t wrangle equals left one frac i h b a r int underscore t underscore zero carrot t d t underscore one e carrot frac i h b a r lambda v t underscore one t underscore zero h underscore zero e carrot frac i h b a r lambda v t underscore one t underscore zero Zero FRAC one HBAR carrot two int underscore T underscore zero carrot T DT underscore one int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one DT underscore two E carrot FRAC I HBAR Lambda V T underscore one T underscore zero H underscore zero E carrot FRAC I HBAR Lambda V T underscore one T underscore zero E carrot FRAC I H B A R Lambda V T underscore two T underscore zero H underscore zero E carrot FRAC I H B A R Lambda V T underscore two T underscore zero plus L dots right Psi T underscore zero Wrangle After the rescaling in time Tau equals lambda t display style tau equals lambda t we can see that this is indeed a series in 1 lambda display style 1 lambda justifying in this way the name of dual dyson series the reason is that we have obtained this series simply interchanging H0 and V and we can go from one to another applying this exchange. This is called duality principle in perturbation theory. The choice H0 equals P2 2M Display style h underscore zero equals p caret two two meters yields, as already said, a Wigner-Kirkwood series that is a gradient expansion. The Wigner-Kirkwood series is a semi-classical series with eigenvalues given exactly as for WKB approximation. Topic examples. Topic: Example of first-order perturbation theory, ground state energy of the quartic oscillator. Let us consider the quantum harmonic oscillator with the quartic potential perturbation and the Hamiltonian H equals minus two two m. 2 x 2 plus m omega 2 x 2 2 plus lambda x 4 Display style H equals FRAC H B A R carrot two two meters FRAC partial carrot two partial x carrot two plus FRAC M omega carrot two x carrot two two plus lambda x carrot four 
The ground state of the harmonic oscillator is psi zero equals alpha pi one four e minus alpha x two two Display style psi underscore zero equals left frac alpha pi right caret frac one four e caret alpha x caret two two alpha equals m omega display style alpha equals m omega h b a r and the energy of unperturbed ground state as e Zero zero equals one two omega display style e underscore zero caret zero equals t f r a c one two h b a r omega. Using the first order correction formula, we get e zero one equals lambda alpha pi 1 2 e minus alpha x 2 2 x 4 e minus alpha x 2 2 d x equals lambda alpha pi 1 2 2 alpha 2 e minus alpha x 2 d X display style e underscore zero carrot one equals lambda left frac alpha pi right carrot frac one two int e carrot alpha x carrot two two x carrot four e carrot alpha x carrot two two dx equals lambda left frac alpha pi right carrot frac one two frac partial carrot two partial alpha carrot Carrot two int e carrot alpha x carrot two dx or e zero one equals lambda alpha pi one two two alpha two pi alpha one two equals Lambda three four one alpha two equals three four two Lambda M two Omega two Display style e underscore zero carrot one equals lambda left frac alpha pi right carrot frac one two frac partial carrot two partial alpha carrot two left frac pi alpha right carrot frac one two equals lambda frac three four frac one alpha carrot two equals frac three Four FRAC HBAR carrot two Lambda M carrot two Omega carrot two. Topic Example of first and second order perturbation theory, quantum pendulum. Consider the quantum mathematical pendulum with the Hamiltonian H equals Minus 
2 2 m a 2 2 phi 2 minus lambda cos phi Display style h equals frac h bar carrot two two ma carrot two frac partial carrot two partial phi carrot two lambda cos phi with the potential energy minus lambda cos phi display style lambda cos phi taken as the perturbation i.e. V equals minus cos phi display style V equals cos phi. The unperturbed normalized quantum wave functions are those of the rigid rotor and are given by psi n phi equals e i n phi 2 pi display style psi underscore n phi equals frac e caret in phi sqrt 2 pi and the energies e n 0 equals 2 n 2 2 m a 2 display style e underscore n caret 0 equals frac h bar caret 2 n caret 2 2 ma caret 2 the first order energy correction to the rotor due to the potential energy as e n 1 equals minus 1 2 pi e minus i n phi cos phi e i n phi equals minus 1 2 pi cos phi equals 0 display style e underscore n caret 1 equals frac 1 2 pi int e caret in phi cos phi e caret in phi equals frac 1 2 pi int cos phi equals 0 using the formula for the second order correction one gets E N two equals M A two two Pi two two K E minus I K Phi cos Phi E I N Phi two N two minus K two Display style E underscore N carrot two equals FRAC ma carrot two two pi carrot two H B A R carrot two sum underscore K FRAC left int E carrot ik phi cos phi E carrot in phi right carrot two N carrot two K carrot two or E N two equals M A two 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 K Delta N one minus K plus Delta N minus 
1 minus k 2 n 2 minus k 2 Display style e underscore n caret two equals frac ma caret two two h bar caret two sum underscore k frac left left delta underscore n one k plus delta underscore n one k right right caret two n caret two k caret two or e n two equals M A two 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 one two N minus one plus one minus two N minus one equals M A two two one four N two minus one Display style E underscore N carrot two equals FRAC Ma carrot two two H B A R carrot two left FRAC one two N minus one plus FRAC one minus two N one right equals FRAC Ma carrot two H B A R carrot two FRAC one four N carrot two minus one